so I have put this surge protector up here for my uh, gaming PC and all my content uh, creation stuff that I be doing and in my studio setup and these are the plugs there's other ones over there and all the cabling that goes everywhere so this is under the desk like I have everything under the desk even the switcher the switches keyboard and mouse to uh, the other computer uh, USB hub here of some sort that I only have one thing plugged in because I put it on this side and <laughs> but it's cool whenever I'm plugging things on the right side it already be there and that's what I wanted I didn't want to need extra for nothing I'd rather have extra than need you get it so these are the railways they hold all the cabling and I'll post these in the link. These marks that you see on it is because I take this pole, this part of a tripod, if you can see, right here. This is a metal pipe. I'm under the desk actually showing you all this. So I put this there to hold it, if you understand, like to the floor and up, pressing up on it so the 3M tape could stick really good. And after you do that, it's been there for a while. And if it ever starts getting loose again, you just put the pole under it again for a little few hours. Because the heat is what makes it come back down, the 3M tape. No matter which 3M tape you got. But look, that 3M tape works. You know how heavy this power plug is to my mixer? This is super heavy. And you can see the 3M tape in there. Dripping. Like I put 3M, like strips of 3M all on the whole thing and said, pop! And it's up there. And it may not be uh, the neatest of things. These little clips are so good to hold up cabling. And they come with tape already, supposedly 3M tape. But trust me, it's whack. So I actually add a piece of 3M tape right on top of their little... <laughs> Uh, fake adhesive tape or whatever it is so all the cables that were in through here my ethernet cables uh, to my other PC to my streaming PC to my main PC the ethernet coming from the wall outside uh, mixers microphones look at all the cables that are actually in there if you can see a little bit because it's kind of weird to record down here but if you can see, I try to make it so you can see with the light, but this is the railways that I was telling you, that's one, and then it goes across, and then there's a bunch of cables in there that you're going to need if you're dual PC streaming and using a mixer and all that, so there's another railway, uh, yeah, railway, yeah, something like that, we'll figure it out, yeah, just I don't know why I feel like I got the name wrong. And this is the uh, uh, Govi strip lights. Being that I put them around and not straight, their tape on these last ones that are 16 footers didn't seem to stick that great. So I'm going to come. Well, they give you these little clips to hold them up if that ever happens. And I didn't put the clips. But remember, there's a lot of cabling down here that makes it really hot while you're streaming for hours or making content and it's gonna start uh, unsticking uh, 3M's, adhesives and all types of things because of the heat and I bend these Govi so much to get them around wiring and all that so I don't really blame them I had a lot of air in between them so that's my fault because I have Govi's up here and that never happened but these are these do feel more durable than the newer ones that they making so please don't start getting cheap on us Govi you've been doing a great job so but I'm gonna come <clears throat> I'm not gonna take them all out I'm just gonna <laughs> and put like a little pieces of 3M there and keep it moving probably get to it today so let me just work on taking this Surge protector out. That's what we're doing. It's super stuck up there, bro. I tried to do it with my fingers, and I said, you know what? I'm just going to rip. You could go 
plan if it comes out you're gonna probably take a whole piece of wood from your desk with you so you don't want to do that what you want to actually do is this what I'm doing take the blower any little blower that you may have Revlon <laughs> obviously you got the black and gold blower from your wifey unless you blow your hair but it's cool men blow their hair <laughs> I used to do it all the time but with that being said let's get it and let's see if we get this bad boy out of here whatever you do you want to make sure that that surge protector is unplugged You want to make sure that that surge protector is unplugged because you're adding heat directly into the sides of this situation. So I don't know what could happen. You feel me? So what started happening with these surge protectors, if you notice, they come with this frizzy power button. 90% of these. This was like a cheap budget one. I just threw it up there. It was brand new. I bought it. Uh, or somebody was actually selling a bunch of them in the street and I seen when they actually took them in New York City You know how we get down So I seen actually when he boosted them from the store So I bought the stolen property from him <laughs> And put it under my desk <laughs> Is that a charge? <laughs> so after a few Trying to get off this blower at the same token. It seems like it's probably about ready to come out. I heard something pop. So hopefully the plastic didn't break and stay up there. There goes the three the three M. I heard something go plang. So hopefully it wasn't wood or anything. So this been up here for like almost a year or more. And there you go, you see the strips I put? I even didn't really cover it all. So that's how you put the surge protect up there. And you gotta get good 3M tape. This tape is still sticking. It still has major power, this 3M. And I made sure I always ordered the right 3M. So I'll put the links in the description to the 3M tape too. And the new surge protector that I'm putting. Even though I had that surge protector for a while, but it's been great. I'm gonna put it for now. And then maybe I'll order another one uh, in a few days. This was just like an emergency switch a roadie type situation. <laughs> so yeah, I'll put the links to all this in the description if you plan on using this. This is what really works. But you have to put like a stick or something like I told you. Unless you're going to sit there yourself and hold it for 24 hours. Other than that, if you don't have something, hold it. You want to get all this out and clean it good. If you don't have something, hold it. You're wasting your time. It's going to keep coming on and off, on and off. And that's not good. Thank you for tuning in. Let me know if you want to see more content like this. I'll show it to you as soon as I'm done. Boop. Tech for rec. So before you get super started, uh, putting the surge protector up on top of your desk for your gaming or content creation setup, you want to get 91%. Or at the least 70% alcohol. And it has to be. You already know. If not. It's not regular alcohol. It needs to say exactly what this. Is saying right here. Right. Then you want to get your 3M tape. Depending on the one you bought, I'm about to show you this. And although it says mounting uh, supplies, and you're going to see right there, it says, China, do not get discouraged. <laughs> you're going to need this for sure to cut the 3M tape. This one is a little more thicker, but believe it or not, I find the thinner one super more durable with that being said you just can't go by any 3m tape it's not going to work now you may be wondering 
Why is this so much packaging? This, you seal it. I put it back in this plastic, then in that plastic. And the same goes for this one. Remember, this is a sticky adhesive type of gluey situation going on. The last thing you want it to do is for it to dry up. You want to keep it nice and moisturized while it's put away. If you're not using it, there's no need for it to be going and hardening on you. With that being said, this has a super odor, a smell out this world. It kind of sort of smells like angel dust, if you remember. <laughs> but why would you? But with that being said, it has like a crazy smell of uh, garage, tire fixing type of warehouse. Uh, you walk in and it's like... <laughs> Hey, Tom, we need some help over here. You ever been in them places where you walk in and it's just... Well, <laughs> there's a smell to that place that you walked into, right? Eh? This is it. So I'm not really too fond of that thicker one. This one is the one that actually worked. This one is magical, although it's smaller. Keep in mind, they all say this inside, 3M, scotch, right? But this is not regular tape, scotch tape. Brand tape, 3M. These guys got a little thirsty and put it a few times. <laughs> we could have did just with the one time, my guy. So I don't know... They definitely not both from the same company. They don't use the same 3M tape. I think for some reason this is more like... I don't know. It just wasn't as strong as it looked. It looks thick. And it looks like it's actually going to work better than something that's this thin. And I guess it's like real life. <laughs> uh, size doesn't really matter. <laughs> it's how you use it. So whatever you're working with, you should want to cover the whole strip. Like, that's what I do. This is just a quick uh, replacement from the other power strip I had there again. Uh, so it's not that big. It has like seven outlets. Two on each side and uh, five right there. It's just the way they coordinate it in a straight line. I'm not feeling it. I like like one up, one down. And I like it like flatter and bigger so I could put stuff on this side, plugs on this side, plugs on that side. And I like to have it boom, right? So just in case I like to have extra space for plugs and I feel like if it's cluttered, I feel like something's going to happen. Like all the sockets are taken, my dude. Like you sure that's safe? Like it doesn't even look safe. Like bro, you got to, oh my God, they all occupied? Like that's not too much war? right so that be on my mind that part of just life and things like that but i guess it's cool and it's better to be safe than sorry so yeah this is just a replacement i'll probably have it there for like two or three days until the other one comes in that i'm ordering and this one is actually on sale this is a real good one i've actually had this for years and on top of that someone else was using it for years Facts, because I got this from a family member, this one. I bought one, the same one, and I'm going to show you. And just because I'm a realist like that, so I'll let you know that whole extra information that was unnecessary. But that's what too much conversation does. But anyway, boom. Uh, yeah, I'll show you probably the other one if I could get to it in my storage closet. It was kind of a budget, but believe it or not, I think I paid $2 for it. <laughs> and it's worked better than anyone I've Ever had? <laughs> Amazing. <sighs> That's what happens when you're working alone. <laughs> That's the 3M tape. Awesome. So that's the way you want to be holding it up. I held it up a little bit myself on both ends, but you want to leave something there. 
to hold it up for a few hours or so even if it's a few minutes they recommend mainly for you to hold it up with something for a minute but honestly I leave it a lot overnight like I'll use it right now after it dries up and it dries up pretty quick and it, I feel like it's hard enough which right there is super solid right now once you clean the surface with alcohol uh, you must clean the surface of anything that you're adding lights to whether it's uh, govy lights or what have you you always want to clean the surface with alcohol that's the problem when people be like oh this 3m tape don't work or that tape don't work or the double-sided tape don't work for this for that it only holds up posters or it's not for 16 pounds you didn't clean the surface bro and you didn't hold it there for a minute I have all these things under here for over a year facts and I just had to start putting the this little metal pipe tripod up on these things because I felt like they was getting loose a little bit and I these don't even have the strong super strong 3m tape that I place on other stuff this came with its own tape and I used that uh, I plan in the future probably taking them out and adding 3m tape and I have a bunch of these because I ordered two orders by mistake and to send it back is like $7.99 so I said I'll just keep it I'm doing different uh, studio and content creation setups anyway so I'm gonna need them for other desk in the near future coming up so with that being said yeah all my cables under here even the switcher this switcher has been here for over a year awesome switcher switches your keyboard and mouse to your other PC so you don't have to use two keyboards and two mouse it actually switches my keyboard my mouse uh, my Elgato stream deck so it's like you have two stream decks because I have the program downloaded on both PCs and once I switch pop over you can control the Elgato stream deck on your streaming PC and on your main PC so that's awesome right there and most people don't know that trick so they go and they buy two Elgato stream decks <laughs> and they're expensive I paid hundred and seventy dollars for the uh, large but medium version because they have a mini also but 170 times 2 my guy <laughs> uh, hello and they got the bigger one that costs almost 300 so people are spending a lot of hundreds of dollars unnecessarily when it just would have cost you 20 pop to get a switcher but this switcher I'll put the link in the description also I think I paid like uh, 22 dollars or it's less than 30 bucks trust me uh, USB switcher awesome this was a steal a great buy bro they'll never make another one like this again believe me and they overpricing it so I'll put the link in the description so you can get it that works and it's not only for keyboard and mouse you can switch over a lot of uh, USB situations so everything is under here my mixer my microphones uh, as you can see my uh, content creation desk has the headphone holder and all that which I just started using <laughs> but whatever let's get it bro work is never done tech for rack let me know what you think about this content though so yeah this is for now this is a quick replacement pop like hold on but this is actually a re really good one and I'll put the link in the description. The only reason I'm replacing it is because I'm bugged out. And it's white. And I need it to be black. And although I have other black ones, they're being utilized. And if I would have moved them from where they at to put it here. And then replace the other one with this one. Or with another one. They have USB ports that are being utilized for my uh, sky projector and all that. And I didn't want to change it. It would change the whole setup. And recording routine and uh, I can't get out of my routine for nothing or no one if something is not broken do not fix it only fix it when it's broken this was broken now it's fixed
Tech for Rec. So this is one of the companies that I actually bought some of this 3M tape from. So shout out to them. I'm going to leave the link in the description for you guys that may want to get the same 3M tape that actually works. That I've had stuck up there for over a year. Going on two years, I promise you. Uh, I've been using this 3M tape. Again, once you're putting the 3M tape away, make sure that you bag it in plastic and get the air out the plastic. And I put it in three plastic bags. It goes in this uh, aluminum type of looking plastic, but it's actually not. And then another zip bag. And on top of that, I still come and put another bag. Pop. So it's in there nice and warm. It's not getting hard and cold. And it's definitely not going to work after a while. Temperatures change in your uh, residence. <laughs> 